Hello, and welcome to Wellspring Ensemble's inaugural spring season. Not just any spring season, but our premier and exclusive virtual concert to you. My name is Rachel Ray, and I'm on the board of directors serving as your vice president. And we are so happy that you are here tonight. For musicians, music is more than just a passion. It is something that we need to express and something that we need to share. It truly is a soul connection. Last year, our board of directors was faced with a difficult decision of whether or not to move on with our summer concert or not. And now here we are a year later, still unable to meet in person. However, we did not let that stop us from keeping the music flowing. We were able to conduct weekly rehearsals led by none other than our very talented artistic director, Evan Norberg. This allowed us to sing, make music and connect and most importantly, make new music for you. All of which would not have been possible without your support last year. And here you are tonight supporting us further so that we can continue to keep the music flowing. We cannot thank you enough. Now tonight, we're very excited to share with you four new music videos that we're here to debut, including our first ever time performing jazz. So we invite you to sit back, relax and enjoy Wellspring Ensemble's virtual concert, Hughes. Without further ado, I introduce our very talented artistic director, Evan Norberg. Thank you. Our first piece this evening is a Southern Appalachian folk song arranged by Franklin Gallo. Our recording project with my friend and colleague, Melissa Stone, brought the wonderful, pretty Sarah to me and struck a chord with both its sonorous and almost sorrowful harmonies, set in three distinct sections. Baritone Josh Johnson starts the tune with an almost hopeful arrival in America, but our character soon discovers that the people do not look like him. A longing for familiarity and love, soprano Christine Zellman closes the third section with a soaring descant to complete the tune.
This past year brought challenges to so many. Jobs were affected by the pandemic, and many had to learn how to create a virtual workspace. We would love to take a moment and thank our amazing teachers, who have really had to be flexible and find creative ways to share their talents virtually. Because of your hard work and dedication, students were able to learn new techniques and continue to grow. It may have taken a lot of wine, tears, creative thinking, frustrations, aha moments, and laughter. But you persevered and pushed through, and good news, this long school year is almost over. Thank you to our 2020-2021 season Wellspring educators for all that you do and for finding time to continue to sing through it all. Your hard work is greatly appreciated. Thank you. When trials test your soul Afraid to lose control And as the world turns cold, I'll hold on, I'll hold on, I'll hold on to your heart of gold.
Our second piece, with text by Joyce Sidman and composed by Jocelyn Hagen, is an anthem where women's rights are human rights. Starting now is a call to women. Look at each other. Hear each other. Feel and acknowledge the struggle that all endure together. Accompanied by the amazing Genevieve Peasley, this difficult piece reminds us of the constant drive to keep it up, lift up the women and oppressed in our lives, and be the change. In the words of Jocelyn Hagen, change takes time, but with determination and patience, I believe that we can all succeed in transforming our lives, and with them, the world.
The Kate L. Schubert Award was given to its namesake for the first time in the winter of 2018, a tradition to honor members of the ensemble that give of their time and energy to go above and beyond to further the mission and vision of Wellspring Ensemble. Kate's drive to see Wellspring bloom at its inception helped establish us as one of the cornerstones in the Seattle choral scene. Following Kate, Josh Johnson was awarded for his dedication to the excellence of the music by helping to develop tracks and materials to assist in the rehearsal process. This year's winner is right in line with the previous greats. This person continually helps Wellspring raise the bar when it comes to our marketing efforts. Without any ask from the board, she has offered to make and donate Wii ornaments to sell in 2018, making the concert just that much more special. She spearheaded our marketing and branding guidelines and offered to take on the role as our social media coordinator. Her professional expertise, guidance, and continuous support of the ensemble and board prove that she is worthy of our appreciation. Congratulations on our newest winner of the Kate L. Schubert Award, Christina McDonald.
I would probably not be too far off if I claimed that Dan Forrest is one of Wellspring Ensemble's top composers. A composer of both lush arrangements and simple, reflective pieces, Forrest always tugs at our heartstrings. I think what drew me to his traditional Irish arrangement, Be Thou My Vision, was the silky smooth treatment of the vocal lines, accompanied by an understated piano that perfectly complements the melody we all know and love. Again, a testament to her skill, Genevieve Peasley collaborates with the vocals in seamless beauty.
Hello, I am Kate Schubert, and I'm a member of the Board of Directors for Wellspring Ensemble. It's my special pleasure to welcome you and thank you for sharing with us our springtime offering in the performance series, Hughes. In March of 2020, the world changed for all of us. Vocalists everywhere were shocked to learn that our mainstay activities like rehearsing in person and presenting concerts were no longer safe. I'm so proud that with your help, Wellspring Ensemble came together to find a way forward in challenging times. Our membership has always brought talent, time, energy, and financial support. Now, they also must bring strengthened digital recording skills and cheerfully attend yet another Zoom meeting. Our leadership has found innovative ways to support the connection and cohesiveness that underlies the music we make together. And artistic director Evan Norberg continues to do all the things that choral directors do, choosing, studying, annotating music, planning and leading rehearsals, meeting with collaborators. But in addition, Evan has spent hundreds of hours in the past year designing, producing, and editing the video performances like the one you are seeing now. Of course, it's your generous financial support that makes this possible. Please partner with us as we work to bring great music to a growing audience. Together, we support the work of Pacific Northwest performers and the composers, we commission new music, and we share our joy of music through educational outreach. Thank you for being with us as we all look to the future. And now please enjoy the rest of this video presentation.
Lady Gaga ain't got nothing on these costume changes. Pat Metheny is a staple in the jazz world. His guitar licks and backup musicians singing wordless vocal lines on many of his tunes draw in the listener, almost telling a story without context. When I had the idea to jump into Wellspring Ensemble's first ever vocal jazz arrangement, Dave Kazir, well-known Northwest composer, arranger, jazzer, pianist, and lyricist came to mind. His lyric treatment of Pat Metheny's Third Wind, among so many other tunes, is unmatched in my mind. We may have all heard of Second Wind, that time when you're exhausted with work and you grab a cup of coffee and then catch the wind in our sails and continue trucking? Well, in the theme of love, sometimes it takes a third wind. Musicians joining us on the tune, we welcome Dave Kazir on piano and vocal solo, Zaldi Rogero playing the part of Matheny on guitar, Marina Christopher on the drive and bass, and Heather Thomas sizzling on the drums. Oh, no. 
if we share more truth, if we give more trust, it could mean a new chance. Maybe soon we'll see a new love dance. Proper time and place could spark a love as it used to be. Hold on to the hope that this third wind brings on me. Maybe we should see, maybe we should try. Again, thank you so much to our donors who love and support us, the Ensemble for your hard work and dedication for making all the content of tonight's concert, and the Board of Directors for your tireless efforts of putting all of this together. On behalf of Wellspring Ensemble, we wish you a great night and stay safe out there.